Hey everyone, so I've got a DIY for you. Oh, I think I'm zoomed in. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I've got a DIY for you. Now, this is um, not so much artsy as it is practical. In fact, this is for pure practicality's sake. Uh, those of you who watch my videos regularly know that me and my boyfriend tailgate when we go to Louder Than Life and Rock on the Range every year. Um, those of you who've been tailgating before at such events know that if you want to use the bathroom while you're tailgating, uh, you have to walk a long way to a porta potty. Uh, you have to wait in line. You can smell it before you even get into it. Once you get in there, usually the toilet paper has run out. Uh, the people that have been in there before you have not been considerate enough to uh, not pee all over the seat. There's pee on the floor, it smells really bad. And the porta potties are disgusting. And if you're having to go to the bathroom constantly and wait in line, that really totally wrecks your tailgating experience. So I figured out a way around that. Um, and yes, I think you can get away with this as long as you're not like flaunting it, going, oh, look what we have. Um, security, I don't think, will say anything as long as you're cleaning up after yourself and you're not being totally gross and you're not, uh, you know, being. Uh, completely, you're not being really obvious as to what it is you're 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 doing. But anyway, um, I have taken PVC pipe, some tarp, some zip ties, and some shower curtain hooks, and a five gallon bucket toilet kit, and I am creating a bathroom that is portable, relatively lightweight, can be broken down or set up in less than 10 minutes, and it is basically pretty easy to use and um, it'll fit between cars in a parking lot hopefully um, and it can be zip tied to your canopy or whatever you're using to tailgate with as far as like your, your shelter goes now uh, <clears throat> this costs less than less than sixty dollars to make the uh, toilet kit and I'll show you the toilet kit right here I haven't opened it yet just because I haven't yeah it's taped shut right now but the toilet kit it's a five gallon bucket. It's got a lid that has, it's got a lid that's basically, it's a seat that closes. And I got this for like, I think 25 bucks um, on Amazon. And it came with some gloves and some baggies and some things like that for cleanup. And it's got a nice little roll of toilet paper in there with it. Soft sense bath tissue, how pleasant. Um, Let's see, what's this? And it's got some wet wipes, baby wipes. Very nice. <laughs> some people need them, I suppose. But um, yeah, you basically the idea is that the lid can snap. This can snap on and off. You take the baggies, you put the baggie, you know, you line the, the bucket with a baggie, and then you put the lid back on. And people can sit on it and do their business. I would recommend, being that this is so lightweight, taking a heavy sandbag or a brick or something and placing it in the bottom of the toilet before you use it. That way the center of gravity is a little bit lower and it won't topple as easily when someone squats over it or sits on it. Um, so if you have a sandbag around, I definitely recommend having it handy for this. So there's a toilet. That was like 25 bucks. These tarps for each I think 12 or 15 bucks. I got three of them and I think they're six by eight. Yeah, they're six by eight. And they do have eyelets. Here's a shower curtain books. I got these at Lowe's and they were like three dollars, if that even, like two dollars, something ridiculous. And when you get your shower curtain hooks, you want to make sure they actually fit over top of your piping. Um, I use one inch PVC pipe. I bought the pipe and the shower curtain hooks the same day at the same store. So I was able to kind of like go like that and like hold it against the end of the pipe. Um, so that I could see whether or not it would actually fit over the pipe. So, yeah. Zip ties. I've had these laying around, so essentially they've already paid for themselves. Zip ties are like the most awesome invention ever, so really they don't cost anything in my mind. But anyway, <laughs> there you go. Um, tools you're going to need for this. You're going to need a ruler or a tape measure. You're going to need a permanent marker to mark where you're going to cut, and you're going to need... A hacksaw or a basic wood saw. I used a basic handheld wood saw. Not a big deal. Um, not electric, by the way. The kind where you have to go back and forth like that. So, um, and plastic will make 
just as much of a mess as wood will. So have your shop vac ready to clean that up, especially if you're working outside, you don't want to pollute the environment or whatever. So anyway, I'm going to talk about my frame that I made. So, and like I said, this thing does collapse, it breaks down. So, but here's what I used. I used tri-lobal connectors and regular PVC pipe. And it, I, I am going to hit my head on it walking in, but that's just, you know, you know, I drive a small car. In order to transport this thing, it can't be huge. So it's okay for people to have to duck to get in. It's not a big deal. So anyway, so I used a one-inch triple connector, which is this thing, once again, with one-inch PVC. And the PVC itself is this pipe here. So, and uh, so you can see it's kind of rectangle-shaped. Uh, one side is definitely like longer than the other. Like here's the long side, here's the short side, and the door is going to be here. So but the longer side is 36 inches. Up and down it's five feet. And in fact, these pipes came five feet. That's the length they were when I bought them. So I cut them to fit how I wanted, and I kind of trimmed them down until they were how I wanted them. So, and the short side is 29.5 inches. So that having been said. Uh, I'm filming. It's okay. So that having been said, we've discussed the frame and the supplies. I'm going to put the rest of it together and I will be showing you guys uh, the rest of it in just a few minutes. Okay, so I'm back. I must say that I am a liar because the very first time setting this thing up definitely took longer than 10 minutes, but I'm sure once I've set it up several times, uh, you know, setting it up will become a whole lot easier and will therefore go more quickly. So anyway, I set it up and it's technically ready for use. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not going to take a crap on camera. I don't think my neighbors would appreciate uh, me taking a poo in the backyard anyhow. So uh, even if there is surrounded by tarp. So anyhow, Oop, I'm tripping over everything. So anyway, here it is. It's kind of ugly, but you know what? It really just has to be functional. And uh, I think when we're uh, tailgating, what we'll do is we'll bring permanent markers and we will decorate. Like as we drink and get stupid, we will decorate and make it pretty with colors and poems and things like that. So as you can see, it's got zip ties pretty much all over it. Shower curtain hooks. And uh, you might want to actually attach the shower curtain hooks to the eyelets before putting them onto the pipe because the pipe actually keeps them from being able to uh, to open up properly. So, but here's probably the very first um, zip tie I did, and I don't like how and I don't like the way I did that, and I will explain why in a few minutes. I wish I would I wish I would have had a little more foresight. I would have done it differently, and I'll explain why a little, a little bit after I show you the rest. But we're going to take a step inside and uh, in order to keep this thing from blowing away and going all over the place, I've had to zip tie it to the corner so we have to step over the flap. And we are now in the bathroom. The inside's black. I was not expecting that and I'm actually kind of pleased by it because then the person using the toilet will feel as though they have a little bit more privacy. So <clears throat> anyway, as you can see I've got zip ties pretty much on every single eyelet and this over here is overlapped for privacy as you can see it's there's like a foot and a half to two feet of tarp on the other side of that tarp so because if you just attach the eyelets you'd have these big gapes gaping spots here and people can peek through and see you going to the bathroom which is kind of gross so well, here's the toilet paper dispenser now this is an arrow with a paint roller attached on top of it, over top of the fletchings. And then um, I put a zip tie at the end to make it a little fatter so that the toilet paper actually stays in place. And it does in fact work. It's great. So that's the toilet paper dispenser. Now to close this thing up, I had to leave, I had like all this excess tarp um, when I was done. I guess I forgot to think about the fact that the top of this this thing all the way around only measures so far but two six by eight tarps are going to measure farther and longer so for now i've got this doohickey on here which basically just kind of hooks on 
like so Oop, if I can get it there we go which but I don't have anything down here and the wind keeps poofing this thing out and now I'm gonna have to engineer a different way of closing this in order to actually use it and in fact what I think I'm gonna have to do is um, I'm going to have to like I said I don't like this because what I wish I'd done when thinking back what I wish I would have done is attached it here instead of here that way there would be uh, there wouldn't be all this bulk and there wouldn't be as much bulk in the tarp itself so but it is what it is and this is not a bad job I don't think for my first time doing this but um yeah if there's enough room here to stand up and turn around which is good uh, if you're a guy you can you can stand here and be or whatever so um, there's plenty of room in here plenty of privacy so I think I've done a decent job. If you guys ever have any questions about this or anything, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I think this actually took me more like 25 to 30 minutes to put up. <laughs> My first time doing it, and I definitely uh, have discovered the bugs, like the parts of it that need to be changed or need to be worked out. And I think when I uh, put it up again at Rock on the Range, I'll show you guys then. So. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and educational or whatever. I hope you got plenty of ideas and were inspired. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and share and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you kids later.